G'day mate and welcome to Ixion with me, GD. Now, rather than putting together a nice simple let's play like many, many that have popped up on the internet last oh, very, very short amount of time, um, I decided what we'd do instead is we put together a sort of a best build practices. Best build practices for both the first sector and the second sector because, well, you have um, some major constraints when it, play, when it comes to Ixion. One is going to be time and the other one is going to be space. You don't have a lot of space and you need to make the best of it. So what I want to do is put together this video to help you build the first sector and the second sector. And they're going to be actually two separate videos, one for the first and one for the second, to make the best use of every free tile you have. At the same time, I want to specialize both the sectors. First sector, I want to do basically food and population. The second sector, I want to do, well, manufacturing, because that's going to be very, very important in the not too distant future. But with that out of the way, um, can I borrow a like? I'd just like to borrow a like early in the video if you're not happy with the layout or, or something in the video. I'll remind you later, by all means, you can have your like back. But for the moment, can I just borrow it? Just, just, just for the next couple of minutes. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's get started. So, um, we have dialogue that we're going to promptly skip and we're going to go straight to building mode. Now, we need to get in a workshop and a, uh, and a stockpile. We also need to get some roads to connect all this together. We're going to actually start with um, removing some roads. I want to remove four roads from here. It's going to be very important. We're also going to bring a road from here through to here all the way down the side. Also going to throw in a road in a dead straight line uh, through to here. And also going to build a road from... Uh, one, two, three, that tile. That tile all the way across to here and link back into there. And then another road. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But like so. Yeah, it, it, it's a little bit of a mess, but bear with me. Every road is going to be important. All right. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to put down the workshop. The workshop is going to mean that we can actually start building some of these roads. That's going to be very important. Also, we need to put in a stockpile, which we can put stuff in it. We're going to start putting alloy in here. And then the very first thing I do, I, I recommend you do, is I click this button up here. This button actually lets you see what's in all those different stockpiles. It's going to be super helpful. We're going to start um, having to grab some of these stockpiles and put them into our warehouse. Also, we need to put in yet another stockpile for food. We're going to be putting this stockpile right here. And we're going to be setting that for food. We're going to give a high priority. No, they'll get around to it eventually. All right. Uh, the other thing the population is going to want is an infirmary, housing, and then and, and other things. We're going to start up with uh, the infirmary. And we're going to put the infirmary right here. Now, infirmaries, you're going to need at least one per sector. Probably two maybe three um the population are quite accident prone very very accident prone um every single person that you took with you off to the new world was born with two left hands i'm sure of it so keep that in mind when um setting up your your, your builds and that sort of stuff you're probably going to need a, a a couple of those in the long run uh next thing we want to do is we want to start removing well these resources these resources because they're going to be in our way first thing we want to do is we want to grab the food and make sure that gets exported to there which is being built ever so slowly we also want to have a couple more storages we're going to put a stockpile here and a stockpile here one of these we're going to set to alloy the other one we're going to set to polymer because there are some polymer factories here, there, and everywhere that we're going to want to access. We need to connect this into the road so we can empty these as well. And that's really our, our big start. We can start emptying these because these are going to be in our way first. Also, uh, we need to... Uh, no, I can't put in the lab yet. I need to put in housing. No, I need to skip these dialogues. There we go. That's the one I want. I want this event, which is going to have access to few food and give us access to the mess hall. The mess hall we're going to put right beside the infirmary, which is going to be very close to food storage. It's going to be important. Uh, next up, we're going to have a quest very shortly to make sure that everybody's housed. And we have a total of 85 people. Each housing uh, holds 15 people. So we know we need one, two, three, four five, six, that'll hold 90 people total. Unfortunately, we can't build this side because there's no roads because, um, well, there's still this storage in the way. Uh, speaking of roads, we need to throw a road in there. So that is hooked into the main road once we get that far. All right, uh, I want to have a high priority on this because if this gets built, uh, it means it's going to also uh, be able to collect alloy, which means we can have twice as many trucks going around collecting things. We now need to hook that road in there now that that's been cleared up. 
and it means I want to remove these ones. These are in my way right now, and I want them gone. Also, because we have one set for polymer, and that will store up to 100 pieces of polymer, and we don't have 100 pieces of polymer on the map, if I see polymer, I can just click on it and have it start being collected. Okay, with that done, uh, we need this built, which means some resources need to be gathered, needs to be built, blah, 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 blah. And then we need to clear out this area first, this area second. That's another polymer I could just grab. And then eventually we'll be able to grab this one as well. Because there's only one factory, building roads is going to be a lower priority. All the other buildings are going to be a higher priority. But as long as we have access to these and we can keep, keep clicking these things, we can keep getting the resources shoved away. And you've got to be a little bit careful on which ones you select because you don't actually have enough storage to get all the stockpiles picked up and put away. And some of them are definitely in your way. All right. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to remove roads again. And I want to remove this whole road. And I want to run the road there instead. Now, we're going to need to do that because we need to put in a lab. Lab's going to go right here. Lab's going to be fairly important because it means we can start doing research. Uh, with that area cleared up, we now need to clear out this area. This is going to be what's in our way next. So I want to collect these. Yes, and get them uh, moved out of the way. Uh, close. All right. Uh, oh, oh, new event. Uh, yeah, ensure the crew are quartered within 12 cycles. We're happy to accept that because it's already been planned out. It's just a matter of getting the roads done. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with some shippies. Uh, we're going to need a science ship and also a cargo ship. We'll get those two built with the polymer that's laying around on the map. We need this one out of the way so we can hook in that road. And that's pretty much it. Yes, we need this built as well so the polymer can actually be picked up and transported in to make the ships. Uh, we're going to build a road through there. As soon as this road is done, that will complete this particular quest. We've currently got 75 out of 79 citizens housed. Don't ask what happened to the 80th. It's fine. And at the same time, we can tidy up that little road there. All right, with this road in, we can now clear up this one and this one, and we're going to need a three-tile road in there to clear up this one as well. Also need to get rid of this big one that has 90 in it, and it means we can start on research. Research-wise, we're going to want airlocks, uh, followed by a probe launcher. Now, research is incredibly fast in Ixion. Super duper duper fast. As we can see, we make one science every 30 cycles. That's a problem. So, uh, to fix that, we need to go out to the map and we need to grab our spaceship, the Oppenheimer, and we need to take it to quest icons and get some quests done. We'll go to the moon first because it's nice and close. At the same time, uh, my cargo ship's not built yet. Where's my cargo ship? It's been built right now. There you go. All right, with these, these should get cleared up. Not a problem. We can remove more useless roads like that one. All right, that's our ship done. Okay. So it means we're going to bring up this dialogue. We're going to make sure our ship picks up food, uh, cryopods, people, uh, microchips, polymer, and also alloy as the top priorities. All right, out to the map view. We can start on this. And it's up to you how you wish to run these particular events. Um, I'm going to cut them out because I don't want to put any spoilers. But um, yes, you can run the events the way you wish. So we've got to the stage where we've, we've cleaned up some area. And unfortunately, both stockpiles are now full which means we need to find somewhere to spend some of these resources. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the game and I'm going to plan ahead. We're going to put crew quarters here, 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 and here. And then straight away, I'm going to pause them. I don't want them running. I don't need them running at this time. So we're going to make sure that they're all paused so they don't cost resources. At the same time, I'm going to press the tab button, which gives us the power overlay. And I'm going to intentionally turn these off because we definitely don't have the power to run them just yet. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to straighten out this little bit of road, and that means I'm going to remove that bit of road. Next thing I want to do is, under maintenance, uh, we're going to want another stockpile in here. That's going to be for the future, but for the moment, I need it built, and I'm also going to turn it off. We have 11 resources down here, which are going to be in the way of our next production, so we're probably going to resume at least one of these, 
gonna leave them unpowered, but I'm gonna resume them so at least then we can get these resources cleaned up and out of the way. Okay, with Oppenheimer uh, collecting a whole bunch of science, that should finish off uh, our EVA airlocks, also the probe launcher. These are going to be the first two researchers we're going to want to get. Food sounds important. It's it's really not. We're fine on food for the right moment. Uh, what I need to do next is remove more useless roads. And again, I want to plan ahead. We're going to be putting in uh, a EVA airlock and also a probe launcher, which means I need both those two lots of resources gone as well. So again, we're going to resume this one and get it built as well. Unpowered, but I need to get it built. Also, um, we can see that our ship has been out collecting resources as well. So it's also bringing more resources in, not just what we have in stockpiles. So we're probably gonna have to resume a couple of these just to get them spent so we can remove these two stockpiles. Uh, also notice that you're off by a tile so you can have your own private little road. We've got the research for EVA airlocks and it means insect farm is gonna be the next one. I'm gonna add that to our queue. You can only have two items in the group queue, what you're researching and what you're researching next. Uh, we've also managed to clear out these two items, which means I'm gonna run that road straight through there. I'm gonna delete the excess road and we're gonna put in our airlocks, AVA airlocks right here. So with that up and done, it's gonna cost 90 resources, which will empty one of these two containers, which is perfect, because it now means I can start clearing out some of these. Uh, we're gonna want really these three. These three are gonna be the next ones that are gonna be in our way. So we wanna get them uh, emptied as soon as possible. Something I should mention very, very quickly is um, science is going to be one of your biggest limitations in the game. Early game, late game, mid game, research is always going to be what's holding you back the most. So whenever it comes to any of these choices, I tend to go for anything that's going to hopefully promise me research data. Losing resources early game is really, really bad. It sort of hurts, but um, there's a little spoiler later in the sector that I'm going to show you if you want to see it. But that's, that's up to you. That'll recover some of the resources at least. So now we have have uh, the EVA airlock up and running, uh, we have our very first problem, which is not enough power. To fix not enough power, we need to find six power. To find six power, you have not a lot of options. My favorites are, uh, let's turn off the infirmary and let's also turn off the second alloy. And that should get you enough power to be back up and running. With that done, we're gonna head straight outside and we're gonna add solar panels one, uh, another set of solar panels on the other side, also, I'm going to queue up the... Well, we'll wait for the solar panels to be done first, I think, before we queue up the engine. Well, in theory, it's in a queue, so... Sure, let's add the engine as well. We need to build it no matter what. All right. With that done, we can jump back inside, and we now have access to the probe launcher, which I'm going to put right here. Now, the probe launcher is going to cost another 90 resources. It's not going to be cheap at all, but we need to get it built. Also, there's another event, uh, which will let us request an extra 20... 20 staff, 20 workers, gonna be very important. We're gonna need a lot of workers going into the game. So of course I'm gonna ask for another 20 workers, which our, the Hermes, the Hermes will instantly go and pick up for us and bring them home. It does mean that they're gonna need housing and this is why we built some extra housing a little bit in advance. All right, once the solar panels are done, we can turn things back on and also make sure we turn on two new, new lots of housing for the new population that's gonna come join us. And uh, then we just need to have the probe launcher up and running. Uh, at the same time, now we're gonna be spending like 100 alloy. Uh, we should be able to collect the last of these and get them out of our way. All right, now we have access to the insect farms. Uh, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Four is a little bit too much for our actual need at this stage, but that's sort of the point. Uh, at the same time, now that we've done that, we've also built the Vol engine. Uh, we're gonna also collect the last couple of resources we have on the map, and we're going to unpause these two. Now that we've brought all the extra crew on board, we've got the Vol engine up and running, we have food production up and running. Now it says that we're using, um, well, five per cycle, and we're only producing 4.4. It's a little bit all over the place. Sometimes it says a little bit low, sometimes it says a bit, a bit high, but we only have housing for 180 and we have 205 on board. So we're slightly short on the housing department. Uh, it does mean that we're going to need to put in population, uh, housing, one, two. At the same time, we're gonna need to run a road through to there. 
and that should be another 30 uh, 30 housing 30 housing yes which should bring us up to 210 it means we're just going to squeeze everybody in like a sardine it should be perfectly fine uh, at the same time we're going to want to stop this sorting uh holding alloy and move all the alloy over to one of them so we can cut down on our worker numbers work is going to be very very important as we move from sector one into sector two so with everything tucked away, uh, we have exactly zero growth in food, zero loss in food. We're, we're perfectly balanced. We also have all 205 people are happily housed and we have a housing capacity for 210. Everything's tucked away. Everything's neat and tidy. Research wise, we should pick our next research and I really highly recommend the cryogenics. Cryogenics is going to unlock more people in the not too distant future which is going to be very important because you're going to need a larger workforce. Also, you're going to need to open up a second sector. Lots of things are going to happen. You're going to want more people for that. Uh, at the same time, uh, we have emptied out all the alloy from this one and turn it off. Just to cut back on our worker numbers, uh, we can see we have 199 workers and 121 are actually occupied. Uh, and that sort of brings us to the end of the first sector. There's a couple of other things we'd fit in. Um, we'd normally put some batteries here. I would also put in housing here uh, behind. The catches, they're not accessible uh, to the roads. But um, when you get a housing, the very first housing upgrade, you get new housing blocks that are now uh, twice the size. Twice the size. And they can squeeze in nicely back here. Also, batteries can go over here. The cryogenics lab, which will be the very next thing you're going to be researching, uh, will go probably over here or up where these batteries are. Entirely up to you. And this is how we set up our first sector. Now, I'm going to have a follow-up video covering the second sector. But there's one more thing I want to add. If you're interested in a bit of a spoiler, a bit of a spoiler for the game, if you're not, well, I'm going to call it here. Thank you for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. Can I, now we've gone through the whole video, this is the outline for the first sector. Can I keep the like I borrowed earlier? Because I'd, I'd very, very much appreciate it. At the same time, if you want to see more tutorial videos and 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 and, and layout videos for Ixion, by all means, hit the subscribe button because there's going to be a whole bunch of these coming up in the not too distant future. As for, um, well, a little bit of a spoiler, the very first thing we need to do is we need to build a probe launcher. Yeah, oh, oh, and one more thing I, I do really recommend before you move on to the next sector, no matter what, you add in some solar panels. Um, at least one set. Yeah, uh, you're going to need them in the not-too-distant future, and it's easy to get them built now rather than later. In fact, I say build two sets, it leaves you very short on polymer, but I think that'll be fine in about half a second. So, from the solar system view, grab your probe, aim your probe, and you want to aim it to about here somewhere. Uh, right there, it turns out. Yeah, we're just going to fling a probe over there. Which is going to find a special point of interest. Uh, one that you shouldn't be finding uh, at this stage of the game. We're going to send our science ship over to, just to investigate. Uh, the science ship gives us a couple of options. Uh, we could uh, turn around or we could say hi to the station. Um, which will get us into much trouble. Which we can then bribe our problems away. Yes. Uh, we're going to send a ship with our bribe and uh, see what the outcome is. The outcome of all good bribes is uh, free resources, which we are happily going to pick up, and then we're going to head home. With us heading home, we're going to fly the ship on to the moon, and that should give us enough polymer to complete our second set of solar panels to get a good power bump, a good power bump uh, to go into, well, the next the next uh, chapter next chapter of our mission uh 83 123 123 power is a lot to head into the next sector uh but with all that said and done this is where i'm going to end this particular video as always thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed if you're interested in seeing how i build the second sector by all means click the uh well check check the first pin comment down below that'll be uh the link the link to sector two sector two which we're going to set up as an industrial sector it's going to be a uh, very very different very very compact and going to require a lot of people with a probably a lot of medical beds anyway with all that said as i said thank you for watching do hope you've enjoyed i'll see you in the very next video all right bye